I don't know any other way to say it than I understand now. Go back to January 6th and even before that actually, I remember walking with my mom and my mom and I walked maybe two and a half miles and I felt like shit. Honestly, I felt like if we don't stop soon, like I'm gonna just have to stop and just wait to like, not catch my breath, but like my body hurt, my knees hurt, my, it was two miles. And he's about a guy who's been an athlete his entire life. And I remember thinking, dude, you're really wanna do this Iron Man? Fully understanding that I still believed I could do it. It was just like, damn, you got a long way to go. And January 6th came and that was my first run. It was a mile. Um, it was tough. I ran, it was like a 947. And not to laugh at that, but I mean, you're talking about a guy who used to run his two mile in like six, 12 miles for, in, in the army. And I just had looked at how far I had come. And I honestly, there was definitely a moment there where I felt like crap. Like, how did you let yourself get this way? Do you know how far you have to go? You have to do that 26 times in an Ironman and you're struggling to do it once. Uh, and then fast forward to today. Uh, it is July, early July, and I ran 11 miles at a pace that was less than that one. I ran 9.31 today for 11 miles, and it felt really good because I look at that first one mile and I'm like, I get it. It's not where you are, but where you're headed. It's not just the goal but the small steps that will get you there to achieve it. It didn't happen in a day, it didn't happen in a week. We're talking seven months I'm here. So when you quit two, three, four weeks in because you can't see it, it's because you haven't been in it long enough. And there were definitely moments where, not that I wanted to quit, but it just felt hard. I get it. Whether it's fitness, whether it's school, whether it's your job and career, there are things that you want to do. There are places that you want to go. There are lofty goals that seem impossible, unattainable, but they are unattainable for where you are now or they wouldn't be a goal. And that's something I'm really starting to embrace now is that I'm here now, I wanna go there. I shouldn't be able to do it now. I shouldn't be able to get, even get it close, especially if it's a magnificent or a, a, a difficult, a very lonely, as I like to think of it, goal. Because if I could, then everyone would do it. Where you are right now is a combination of the choices that you've made. Well, where you will be in six to seven months will also be a combination of the choices that you've made. If you want better, make better choices, or at least change them because you're never going to get it 100% right. The goal, the ambition, it owes you nothing. And just because you do what you thought you were gonna do doesn't mean you're gonna get there in the time that you thought you would. But if you don't stop, eventually you'll get closer and figure out what works for you and what doesn't. I get it. I just won't be defeated by it. Take care, be well.